Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we are going to try my new recipe. It's called spicy spinach. At least it's something that I've just created on my own. So we have six cloves of garlic, a half of a jalapeno, a green one. Then you have your red onion and a slither of green pepper. We're gonna put some soy sauce to give it a little additional flavor. Garlic salt, garlic powder, mm, red pepper, yes, flakes. We are going to spice this thing up, yes. Let's do this. To get this thing started, I'm going to use uh, some grapeseed oil, maybe three tablespoons. Just to get it started. I cook everything on low heat because just like life, it doesn't happen that quick. Um, so I just cook everything on low heat. And then I let this oil heat up. And while I'm letting that heat up, I'm going to put some garlic salt in there. Just a little to your liking, guys. Exact measurements are to your liking. Um, I'm just an amateur. And um, the reason why some garlic powder, just a little bit of garlic powder. The reason why I have been, you know, trying my hand in the kitchen is because, you know, we're all in. This is red pepper flakes. I'm going to be very liberal with that. Um... Because of COVID, um, I entered this savings challenge with Gigi's Gluten-Free Lab. And that's that was a great incentive for me. Um, I save a lot of money doing that. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of pink Himalayan salt in there. Not too much, just a little bit. Um... I'll put a little bit of this grill master, the herbal grill master. You see a lot of a lot of the food has garlic in it. And I'm gonna turn this fire down because I don't want it to smoke or get too hot. Um but yeah, I feel like I wanna cook more of my own foods. And you save a whole lot of money. And um I like going out. And there's so many other things you can do going out besides just eating. So I'd rather do that. And I know many of you may be afraid to eat out. Um, but now you have options. You can get really creative with these different recipes. And I, I, I definitely enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it. So... One thing that COVID did teach me was how to be a better cook, whether it be for myself or someone else. I'm learning how to be a better provider for myself, a better provider for others, and I'm caring for my body even more. So this is great. And then also, I, I try my best to eat healthy. This is stuff that I know I'm doing myself. I pick my own vegetables. I cut my own vegetables, I wash, thoroughly wash my own vegetables, and I eat my own vegetables. You know what I mean? I may not be able to grow everything all year round, but at least I am capable of looking and smelling and texturizing and all that other stuff. My vegetables. <clears throat> I'm going to put some soy sauce in there, just a little bit, because I want it to have a, a twinge of uh, you know, a little bit of the flavoring that you would get, uh, Asia, Asian flavoring. So I'll just put a little bit of that in there. You won't see me put too much more seasoning in here. Um, I'm going to let this saute up on its own. And mind you guys, look at how long it took for me to do everything. It literally took me about two minutes to chop everything up. My knife handling skills have gotten so much better because... I chop up a, a lot of garlic every day. I'm boosting up my immune system because I have a lot of garlic in my system. 
garlic is good for you guys. So I would recommend you boost up your garlic, your vitamin C, your vitamin D. And just so you know, with this chopped spinach, we're just going to put it directly inside of the pan. No water, but look, the ingredients, only spinach. That's it. There are some places, if you don't look, it'll say that the spinach was bottled or boxed in a facility that makes wheat or other peanut things. So if you have an allergy to something, you think you're just having spinach, but you're having spinach in something else. That's the risk that you run when you don't look at all of the products. So we're opening this up. Spinach is a great source of vitamins as well. And I feel like your body will tell you when you should be eating something that's going to be nutritious. So you just put it straight in there like that. The reason why I say you don't need any water is because when we come back, I'm going to show you why we don't need any water. There's so much water because it's frozen. And frozen spinach is really good too. I heard on the news a couple years ago that frozen spinach is a little bit more, um, you know, less bothered because it goes from the, the, the farmer straight to the freezer. And I was like, oh, okay. We're going to, I'm going to splash... Just a little bit more red pepper flakes because remember this is supposed to be spicy. Just a little bit more. And it's a simple recipe. You put whatever you want in there. And um, then I'll put a little bit more of the pink Himalayan salt. That's it for now. And then we'll taste it later to see if it needs any more seasoning in there. So I'm just going to cover this and then we'll be back. Um, this meal, guys... Is if you're on a budget budget, this meal should only cost you five dollars tops. The spinach was on sale. All of the seasoning I already purchased, so I made that investment a while ago. And um everything else was just already here. The garlic, for instance, that's probably the more expensive than the seasoning. I mean than the spinach. For a sleeve of garlic, it's about two thirty. For the jalapeno, I usually buy two or three. It was about 82 cents. One um, red onion, because I buy red onions. I think red onions are healthier for you from what I heard. One red onion, 82 cents. Okay? And the red pepper, I mean the green pepper, they're on sale at the grocers, 10 for $10. So you can get buy one for a dollar. So depending on how the size of your family and how much you guys consume, which really our consumption shouldn't be so, so much. We should just be eating to live, not the other way around, right? <laughs> anyway, let's come back and I will show you how this spinach is going. We're going to pair it with um, some egg rolls. Uh, I purchased some egg rolls and I figured <clears throat> spinach and egg rolls will be good. And I'll put some for now and then some for later. All right, guys, let's check on our spinach. It's been, ooh, it's been cooking for a good 10, 15 minutes now. And we're going to stir this up. It's still frozen, still a little frozen. But combine all of those flavors. You see how I say you don't need any water? I just went ahead and let the spinach... The water from this frozen spinach just saturate there and look. So now at least you know you can trust me when I say you don't need to add water and um, just cook it. And this has been cooking on low heat, so it's probably taking a little bit longer. But doesn't that look delicious, guys? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness. Look at that deliciousness. And when you want the water from the spinach to soak up <clears throat> just cook it without the cover cook it uncovered for as long as you'd like now at this point i'm going to put a little bit more soy sauce in there because i want it to have a little bit more of a dark color right 
just for it to be dark and that'll be it with the soy sauce no more because you saw me drip it in there about three times now and this is all fresh guys as fresh can be as fresh as can be be we're gonna do a taste test in a few make sure it's spicy as i remember we're trying to make this be spicy and the key element to make it spicy is that jalapeno pepper and those red pepper flakes come in handy too so we'll be back in a few to see how this came out i'm gonna let it cook and saute uncovered so that the juices kind of soak right back into the spinach all right here we go meal on a budget quick meal how about that quick meal meal on a budget 2021 let's be healthy yes hey guys we have finally finished cooking the spinach look at all the water has been cooked down so that is a wrap with the spinach Depending on how high your heat is, it could take longer or shorter, but that's all. We have red onions, garlic, spinach, um, jalapeno, uh, and some other seasonings in there. We'll try this in a few, but these are the egg rolls. I'm just going to pop it in the oven. I just purchased these from the store. Get a box of eight for about five bucks and... I could either have it or not, but that's that. All right, guys, we have our finished product roll on there. It's a shrimp egg roll. And then we're going to go ahead and get some spicy shrimp. I'm sorry, not spicy shrimp, but spicy spinach on there. Just a little dollop. Look at all that goodness, y'all. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. Oh, of course, you know, I have to get my little hot sauce. I have my little bottle of hot sauce. So we're going to put a little hot sauce, dipping sauce on the side. Bam, 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 bam. You know, we're doing this for presentation. And then we'll have a dollop of soy sauce on the side. <laughs> you like that guys a little dollop <laughs> so let's try this spinach look at all that healthiness in there this is a meal on a budget look at that look at that guys just looks so good isn't that nice and delicious looking let's see what it tastes like mm. Very nice. Woo! This this um this egg roll just came right out the oven. So I'm probably gonna burn my tongue trying it out, but let's see. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo! Burning my fingers and more so than my mouth. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to do a little taste test with you so you can. See how this came out? It looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. You will be pleasantly surprised at how much you can do in the kitchen. And it would taste just as good as if you went out yourself. Hey, if you're going to have that go out feeling, then go ahead and um, dress up your, your space too. You know, put the nice tablecloth out. Put the nice tablecloth out and have you a dinner. You know, nice little dinner. Get the wine or the juice or whatever, water, and have a good dinner. But either way, guys, this is a quick meal on a budget, and it tastes delicious straight from your own kitchen. Less than $10. Let's get it, guys. Do not allow the season of how we're going through things now to hold you back. Just keep on keeping on, and let's eat good. Mm. I will see you guys. In the next video, ooh, it's so spicy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> See you in the next video. Check out all the other videos and shorts that are on here post-COVID. Yes. Hello, world.